right, so okay you can use the second hook but you don't have to i don't like using a second hook because it gives it a better presentation if you don't all right then the worm and the fish this is so lightweight the fish will suck in the worm the hook with, with the worm. The worm. Right. so you don't have to use the second hook so you have to put it through the top okay you don't want to do a lot of guys will do this through the side no you don't won't. you don't want to do that yeah, right through the mouth you want to do right to the top and just run it up the hook as yep. best you can Try to hide the hook. Try to hide the hook, and then I usually pull it above the eyelet and try to make it as straight as possible. Yep. And then pinch. Just the end. Just the end. Yep. Beautiful. And then. And what are we using for weights? Um, right now we got the tadpoles. Right there, I think that's a one. Did you put all ones on there? Yeah. A okay. Tadpole diver. Tad tadpole diver. Okay. And then, you know, usually you start with the tadpole cl as close to the as close to the uh, tip as you can reset yep. and then go so right now we're in 14 so don't go any deeper than 40 45 feet back yeah. and then as soon as so we'll do 40 45 and given that this is the first one Okay, we'll just do 42 for a safe measure. So then you grab, grab the tip. Okay, so that, and then. David Ray. Um, move that rod holder, rod right out of that rod holder. Outside. Yeah. And then. Take, take the planer board. Make a little loop. Just make a little loop like that. Just a couple twists. Once you do it a couple times, it's pretty easy. Make a little, little and then you clip. Shoot. Try it again. Pretty easy, don't worry about it. Yeah. And then I just put the clip right on the twist. Give it a little bit of slack. And then when you put this in, see the pin right there in the middle? Yep. You gotta make sure the line goes behind that pin. Okay? That way, when we pop the board, we won't lose it, okay? So then, put it in there. And you just, yeah, and then. We spread these out. I like them to be 20 to 25 feet apart from each other. That way when we turn, we don't, they don't twist. Simple as that, and now we're efficient.